a News 9 weather update. All right, folks, now these storms are getting large and in charge in western and southwestern Oklahoma. The rotation is getting much stronger now. And uh, we're not quite at that tornado point yet, but we're close to it north of Hollis. Let's go to Tom Pastrano. And uh, Tom, this is the updraft right here. Uh, things are all pointing to this area. And it, it, the way it's going, Tom, we're going to try to get a tornado here in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Give us an update. Yeah, David, um, the base is actually getting lower as we speak. I have scud rising into that rain-free base, um, but the storm is booking it to the north-northeast, and we are staying ahead of it. Back to you, David. All right, great job there, Tom. Same with it, and also uh, Hank Brown's down there as well. So if this storm does anything, it's going to try. We're going to be all over it. Okay, let's go back to uh, Link 3 and look at the hail core, folks. Again, we had a left mover. This is the left storm that split off. There's the right mover. The left mover is a hail producer, not a tornado producer. The right mover can produce tornadoes all day. And look at the hook developing. It is now northeast of Hollis. There's Tom looking back at it. Hank's right here. And these guys are going to really get in on this thing as it races to the northeast towards Reed. You folks in Reed, get ready for a damaging hail event over to Mangum as well. Okay, damaging hail, if you don't get a tornado, hope you don't, uh, damaging hail is a good, good bet. There's Hank's shot in the lower bottom part of your screen. Look at the wall cloud now developing with that. So that lower left part, that's from Hank. That is that right there. Okay, Cassie, let's go to velocity data. And look at the couplet now developing, folks. Check it out. Yep, there you go. That is a tight area of spin, and it's getting stronger and stronger by the minute, racing northeast at 45 miles per hour. You folks in Hollis, you're in the clear from that storm. And uh, again, it's going to be well to your northeast. Vinson, you might get a little hail, but the main area of rotation, well, that's tight now, is east of McKnight, uh, just east of Highway 30. Strong area of rotation right there. I'm watching uh, Hank's shot as it moves to the northeast. Okay, Hank is just south, looking to the north. Let's go to Hank Brown and get an update from Hank. Hey, and uh, Hank, I, I know you, your picture, what you're looking at visually, looks better than what we're seeing. Uh, it's still a great picture, but uh, uh, a strong circulation now, Hank. We have 110 mile per hour shear 110 mile per hour shear now about ready to cross 44 just to your north give us an update yeah david it's going to be wrapped in rain what you're seeing right there on the the right half of that shot is the right side or the southeast side of the wall cloud the circulation the meso itself we'll come back to you let's go to tom let's go to tom tom pastrano all right tom let's go is it a tornado give us an update yeah, um the walkout cloud is picking up dust. It's not a tornado, I don't believe. Um, it's not rotating rapidly on the on the ground, but it looks like it's kicking up some dust. Um, it's really starting to ramp up, though. Okay. I mean, it's right. really close. All right. Hey, Tom, back out of your shot just a bit. Back out. We have blowing dust, and I'm trying to figure out, this is the wrap coming around, kicking the dust out, or is this part of the circulation? Okay, hang on a second. This is... Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this right here? Okay, here comes the wrap. This is the hook wrapping around. Look at all the wind and hail and rain. Look how like, fast this is accelerating. You're watching Tornado Genesis right here. Tornado Genesis right here. This is going to wrap around, right? That's what's going on right now. That what I thought was what I thought I saw was what I saw was that dust being blown out right here, and that's because of the wrap on the backside. So we'll see. We'll see if it produces a tornado. Is this a funnel right here? Tom, is that a funnel? Tom? No, no, no. Not okay. a funnel yet. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Wow. Look at that shot. It's sure going to try. Okay, Tom, we're going to leave your shot up and let's go to velocity data. Let's go to link three. And uh, wow, look at that, folks. There you go. Tight area of spin. Let's get our bearing straight. Tom is here. Okay. Tom's looking 80 mile per hour up against what do you have here, Cass? Funnel now. No. You got a funnel? It looks like a funnel now. All right, so, yeah, we've got 100, 110, 115 mile per hour shear. Okay, Tom, there you go. It looks like it's trying to funnel, trying to produce a funnel. Again, this is going to be near, near Lone Wolf. A lot of dust. Lots of dust. Lots of dust underneath What's, that right funnel. Here. Zoom in there. Hey, Tom, zoom in on the dust on the ground. Let's see if that's rotating. Zoom in on that dust right there. Let's see what, okay, drop down. We have scud. Nope. Nope, not yet. Not nope. yet. It's still, it, nope, that's not it. Okay. It's trying, Tom. Okay. Wow. Tornado warning continues for eastern Greer County, moving into western Kiowa County. There it is. All right, we'll see what it does. This is not a tornado. All right, that's not a tornado. Not yet. This is moving one direction. This is 
This is moving on the wrap or the winds, the guest front that is wrapping around the area of circulation. Area of circulation is right here, and this is wrapping around. Now, if this gets caught up and starts to spin, then uh, we'll call it a tornado. Okay, I don't see it. Condensation developing underneath it. Okay, let's go back to, uh, leave that up, control room. Leave that up. And uh, we want to get, we want to get Tom in a good place, Justin. Okay, so here's the circulation now. Okay, this is going to be Lone Wolf. This is going to be uh, about ready to cross uh, 44. Now, here's the deal. If you live in Lone Wolf, you need to go to your safe spot. Okay, let's back out just a bit on that. Then we're going to do a storm track. All right, tight area of circulation now. South of Lone Wolf, but if you live in Lone Wolf, you've got to go to your tornado safe spot now. You've got to go to your tornado safe spot. Let's do shear rate on this. Tornado warning for far eastern Greer County. Area of spin right here getting stronger. Okay, let's go to Max Rot. See what that looks like. Wow, look at that. Look at that. There you go. Right where it should be. Okay, strong circulation south of Lone Wolf. Here's Hobart. You folks in Hobart in the line of fire. And then, uh, again, Hobart, I can't say it enough. If you live in between Hobart or Lone Wolf or south of Highway 9, you need to be thinking about going to your safe spot and what to do if a tornado is headed towards you, okay? And this is developing right now, possible tornado. You're looking at it live, left-hand part of your screen. It's not on the ground yet. Tom and Hank are looking right at it. All right, let's quickly go to, wow, look at that shot. Let's go to north, let's back up, guys. Let's check out the middle storm up north. Make sure we're good on that. And uh, this storm is, is still severe, but I'll tell you what, uh, it's, it's much weaker than what it was uh, an hour ago. Still a big, bad storm. Large hail in here. There's Putnam. Uh, there's Butler. Still large hail. Golf ball size hail. Winds to 60, but uh, it, it's, it does not look as bad, which is great compared to what it looked like about an hour ago or even 20 minutes ago, if that. Okay, it looked, it looked much, much worse. Still a bad storm. Let's put on shear rate on this, guys, just to make sure we're good. Okay, not much there. Let's go to Max Rot. Let's see what we're doing with that. Okay, not much there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're... All right, still spinning. Okay. Um, let's go to Hank. Let's go back to southern Oklahoma here, and then we'll do a storm track on these storms. Okay, let's go to Hank, get an update. Hank, uh, strong circulation now just south and southwest of Lone Wolf. You're right there. Big hook, big storm, big hail. What do you think? Give us an update. Yeah, David, it's kind of disorganized right now. You can see a, a large lowering here, uh, and I'm right here in the mountains. I'm about nine southwest of Lone Wolf. I'm looking north coming into it, and you can see it's pretty disorganized up here, but there are big lowerings, and there's kind of a big, big, broad-scale rotation with it. So what that means is it's not wrapped up and immediately imminent of producing a tornado right now, David. Back to you. All right, there you go. Yeah, Hank, I think we've been real close here so far. It doesn't look like it's produced a tornado, but it's come really close. It's been rotating, and it's been rotating tight, tight the last uh, 15 minutes or so. Okay, let's do a storm track. Let's go to Lynx 4, and uh, we're talking about the storm down here, and with this storm right here, and this is where the circulation is. Okay, here's Lone Wolf. We've got this whole area right here where the circulation is in the center of it. Hobart, 448. Godibo, 510. Mountain View, 522. Okay, Hobart, 448. Godibo, 510. Okay, and then we have a Sentinel, uh, or excuse me, at the Mountain View at 522. Okay, so this thing is moving to the east northeast at 35 to 40 miles per hour. All right, I'm looking at Tom's shot here. Whoa, what's that? Let's go back to Tom's shot, control room. Let's take that. Tom Pastrano, uh, he's getting back in position. A lot of blowing dust. Tom, Tom, give us an update. What's that doing yeah. right there? Yeah, in the middle of all of that slow moving dust, I do see some pretty strong rotation in there um, on the ground. This, this is it right here, Tom. It's, yeah, it's developing right here. All right, okay, hang on. Tom, I think I saw a pit. What do I, yeah, zoom back in here. Hang on a second. Okay, they're trying to zoom in. All right, what do you, okay. Is, yeah. Is that it? Right there it is. Right there. Yeah, yeah. There it is. There's, tornado. There's a pretty strong road. Yeah, there it is. There's a tornado. Right here. Here we go. Tornado on the ground. Right now. Tornado on the ground. This yeah. is going to be south of Lone Wolf. There it is, Tom. Tom, moving pretty fast. Ooh, now we're getting some double helixes going on. Give us an update on that. Yeah, right now it's a multiple vortex tornado on the ground. Um, 
it is within that big area of dust right there. So it, it's embedded in the dust, but at times you can definitely see the vortices coming out of the dust, and it's moving pretty quick to the east there. Okay, what direction are you um, looking like, now? And you are just east um, of Lone Wolf about a mile. Correct. I am east of Lone Wolf, and I am looking to the south right okay. now. All right, back out just a bit on your shot. Oh, there it is again. It's behind the barn. It's right here. There's a tornado. Okay, this is... Tom, how far east? Okay, so you're about one mile east of Lone Wolf. It's right here. This is the area of circulation, okay? And it's a very weak tornado. Let's just get that out here fast and get that out here first. It's a weak tornado that was embedded in that blowing dust, and we talked about that earlier. That was all lifting and pushing to the left, and it did produce uh, that tornado. You don't have to have the condensate in touch with the ground to get a tornado, all right? It, when the pressure is low enough, it condensates down to the ground, you'll get a tornado that'll fill in like what you classically see, right? With the tornado all the way to the ground. This is set up, the cone's hanging here, and we're getting an area of spin on the ground. Tom, do you still see it? It looks like it's behind that barn of that house right there. What do you think? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Um, here it is. I, I occasionally see it. Yeah, yeah, I, I see some vortices right now. Um, it's been embedded in the, the, the dust, and right now we have a whole bunch of precip coming in from the northeast feeding into it. So we're going to try to get to the east to get ahead of it okay, yeah. so we can see it better. Okay, Tom, get back in position. Uh, oh, here we go again. Here we go, behind the barn. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Another area of spin now. And, and you can see the cone hanging above it. You can see the cone hanging above it. It's a weak tornado, but this is going to be part of the tornado here. Right here. Okay, this is going to be east of Lone Wolf, about uh, east and south, right, Tom? East and south of Lone Wolf, how far? Correct. Probably about two miles. Two miles east and about a mile southeast of Lone Wolf. A, an Correct. area of rotation, no doubt about it. Tornado on the ground. It's not a very strong tornado, but it is on the ground. And now we're getting more lifting and turning. Look at that. Wow. Uh, that's impressive. That's impressive for sure. It doesn't look like it's hit anything. Now it's starting to spin a little faster. Starting to spin a little bit faster. Okay, so tornado warning. Continues for now. It's going to be Eastern Greer moving into Kiowa County. There's a tornado control room. Let's put this just to the left. I don't want to lose that shot. Tom's going to get back in position here. That's the tornado on the ground. Winds in there, guesstimating about 100 miles per hour. Okay, and there it is. That's the area of spin right here. Okay, Tom's looking off to his southeast, not very far. He's right here. Area of spin. Okay, that's the tornado. It's right there. So we'll have it for you live. Only on News 9, tornado on the ground now, southeast of Lone Wolf. Let's go to Max Rot and see what it looks like. There you go. Right where it should be. Let's go to Shear Rate. Right where it should be. Everything's lined up. And uh, let's go to Velocity Data one more time. Boom. There you go. It's 100% guaranteed. All, all of our tools verify that. And again, you see all these products only on News 9. Everything says that. And we have it verified in the field with uh, Tom Pastrano. Tom Pastrano is all over. Okay, uh, Hank's back in the action. Let's get an update from Hank. And uh, Hank's moving east. Hank, go ahead, tell us what you're looking at right now. I know you're looking back to the north. It's just barely to your north, Hank. A weak tornado. Give us an update quickly. Yeah, David, I can't see the tornado. I'm on the back side of the hook right here coming around the south edge. I can see it curving back up into the S-trap base but it's really kind of uh, obscured by rain where I'm at, David. Back to you. Okay. All right. Good job, Hank. And uh, Hank's going to stay with that and move a little bit farther to the east. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Lynx 3 and to talk about our storm. And I'll tell you about Lynx 4 control room. My bad. Let's go to Lynx 4. And uh, let's go back to Lynx 4. And uh, there's the tornado right here. It's a weak tornado right now. We hope it stays that way. But it's been on the ground intermittently for the last 10 minutes. Okay. Storm track. Um, Biggers Park, 451, Elk View Hospital, 451, Hobart High School, 451, Hobart, obviously 451, Goaty Bow, 510, and Mountain View, 521, Carnegie, at about 534. That's going to be from the area of circulation to these cities out ahead of the most dangerous part of the storm. Okay, tornado warning continues. Uh, and again, this storm now, this tornado is now in. It is now only in Kiowa County. It's now in Kiowa County. Okay, let's jump back north here quickly. Let's talk about the storms up north. Let's see what they're doing. They are still severe, uh, but they have weakened. Uh, they have weakened. And uh, let's talk about, boy, they've really weakened. 
They've really weakened. So Dewey County, Custer County, Jim's there. Uh, these storms have weakened considerably compared to where they were half an hour to 45 minutes ago. We got the storm up here where Marty is as well. But this storm in Harper County, Cassie, let's zoom into that. Let's go to links three. Let's go to links three, control room. And uh, Bobby Payne's right here. I'm looking at Bobby's shot. And Alan's right here. Okay, and this storm is still a supercell. Both of these are still rotating, but just nothing like what we have in southwestern Oklahoma. So Dewey County, Canton, Canton Lake, line of severe storms coming your way. Going to have quarters, maybe golf ball size hail. Yeah, it's oh, it's lifting up. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the southern storm. Yes. Oh yeah, it's a far cry from what it was. Man, much weaker storm now. Still, still a big storm for sure. Uh, let's go to Alan Brosey. Let's get an update quickly from Alan on the southern storm right here. Let's go to Alan. Alan, give us a quick update. Your storm is still rotating. Still rotating. You see the plates lined up. A little bit of some condensation here developing under the mesocyclone. But right now, Alan, uh, that storm is spinning, but not fast enough to give us a tornado. Give us an update. Yeah, it's not anywhere not what, what it was an hour ago. Uh, we still have some slight rotation, broad rotation. Uh, still have an inflow notch area, but it's just trying to sustain itself, David. It's uh, it's nothing what it used to be. We're uh, northbound trying to get back under it. We're not far from it, you can see from the shot, but uh, there's just not a lot going on with it yet. Not even a lot of lightning uh, in the last 10 or 15 minutes with it, David. We'll keep an eye on it. Back to you. Yeah, okay. All right. Great job there, Alan. So, again, good news for Dewey and Custer County. The wind and hail threat is still with you. Uh, that's the bad news. Good news is the tornado threat uh, has decreased with that storm. That's the good news with that. All right. So, Great news there. Let's go back to links three. Let me show you what I'm doing here. And uh, there it is. Dewey County coming into Loga. Good rain. You'll take it down to Putnam. And uh, but still nickel and dime quarter size hail with the hail core now southwest of Taloga and also the hail core now just west of Bobby Payne. And uh, Bobby's looking right at it. I'm looking at Bobby's shot. Looks pretty impressive. Pretty good gust front on it. Winds in here 60 miles per hour, maybe close to 70. And it's going to go all across Dewey County and northern uh, Custer County. All right, then head up into Major County and Blaine County. See you folks keep an eye on that. Let's go to the Northwest quickly, get into Harper County and uh, severe storm now. Let's change. There we go. Casket job. Thanks. Um, let's get an update from Marty real quick if we can. Let's get an update from Marty Logan. And uh, he's up in here. Is Marty in the Gettner? Let's go to Marty. Marty, your storm still severe up there, but uh, luckily no tornado with that storm. Give us an update. Yeah, uh, you know, it kind of fell apart and then just re-energized the last five, ten minutes. They warned it again. Also, we've had an aircraft crash at the Woodward Airport. So a couple of things going on up here. Nothing serious in the weather right now. Back to you, David. Okay, there you go. A little bit of wind and hail. Winds of maybe 60 miles per hour up where Marty is up into Harper County. All right, let's go back to Link 3. And uh, that storm coming into Buffalo down to May. It's severe, moving northeast towards Freedom. You'll get the severe weather right now. It's a wind and hail threat with this storm. That's all it is right now. I say that's all. That's enough for you. And then we get a break over Woodward. And then we have the other severe storm in Dewey County. Uh, the storm down in uh, Custer County is actually intensifying. And uh, we're tracking that. And uh, again, the rotation with that, it has weakened some. Let's do a storm track. And uh, when you guys get it, get it ready, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's stay with Link 3. They'll get that figured out. Let's go to Link 3. Let's drop south, Cassie. And uh, we're going to do a storm track on the whole line. We did this a little earlier. We're going to do it again, showing the timeline on the metro. And uh, right now we're at, uh, what time is it? We're almost going on 5 o'clock. Big supercell down here. We've had one tornado today. We had our first one yesterday. We've had our second one on May 2nd. And uh, that's, what, uh, that's what it looks like from Hank. And uh, there's Hank's shot, lower left. There's Tom's shot, middle shot, where he had that weak tornado. And then let's drop a little farther south. Okay, let's do. Let's go to Links Four Control Room, and at Links Four, everything here moving. What you guys doing the movement on the speed? 30, 35. Okay, all right, Robin, great job. Moving east northeast at 35 miles per hour. Uh, looking at Watonga at about 518. Snyder 513. Watonga 518. Oklahoma City. We said pretty close to 8 o'clock right now. If it speeds up, obviously be here a little faster. And uh, we think this is eventually going to turn into one line one solid line and as it does the tornado threat would be lower it would be mainly a wind hail threat but still a tornado threat would be there it would still be there but not as high uh, when these storms are separate like they are the tornado threat it is higher when they line out that tornado threat decreases but so your time